So, Cynthia, let's start in the NFC. Who you got? Who's going back to the postseason? Well, the interesting part is that not only were the Bucks already slated because we knew who they were playing, but once the schedule got released, the Bucks became the highest win total team in the entire National Football League. So when I start there, it's going to go Bucks and then Niners, second highest total. They have a favorable schedule as well with a nice easy start. Packers, Washington football team, and then on the playoff outside of winning the division, Arizona, Dallas, and Chicago. The interesting part here is Chicago and the Rams. They are kind of evenly matched, and that week one matchup will go a long way to determine this. Now, of course, this whole thing could get blown up if the Packers don't have the quarterback that we anticipate that they have or could have or couldn't have, meaning Aaron Rodgers would blow up not just the Packers' win totals, but pretty much the entire NFC and many teams in the AFC as well. So the interesting part here, where will he go or will he stay? And then when I look at Washington, I'm going to talk about that defense because that defense and Chase Young makes a huge impact. Many people think maybe Dallas will win the division, but my models say, nope, it's that defensive front that has the biggest impact in the NFC East, meaning Washington is your winner in that division. Ryan Fitzpatrick is not done yet. Come through for the post-game interview, Ryan. Listen, TNF, it's going to be great week two. All right, here we go. How about the AFC, Cynthia? Where's your head and your model at for the postseason there? Well, ahead of the schedule being released, it was still the Chiefs on top, but they had the most win total in the entire league. Now, with their schedule, they still lead the AFC, but again, I told you, the Bucks kind of surpassed them. Then it goes the Bills. They have the second highest. Then the Ravens. Then the Colts. And then on the playoff bubble, it's going to be the Browns with a ton of wins, Miami, and then the Tennessee Titans to round it out. The interesting part here, the Miami Dolphins. Quarterback play will be super important to them, as in that's going to determine whether or not they're actually kind of edging out the Bills potentially or not. Their defense, again, I'm telling you, my models really love defensive play. They got a lot better on defense with Jalen Phillips. They were already good at last season. Uh, they had 10 wins. So if you look to see what's going to happen this season, it's really going to come down to that quarterback for Miami that could maybe shake up the entire playoff picture.